The reference interview is one of the most important responsibilities of a librarian. It's the most straightforward contact the librarian has with the patron, and it's important the patron leave feeling confident in the librarian's ability to answer the question. The reference interview begins when the patron approaches a librarian and asks a question and continues until the information is found. However, this does not mean it's the end of the interview. The patron may need additional information or have more questions. So it's important that the librarian ask a follow-up question to ensure the patron has found all the information she needs. All kinds of people come into the library and they come with a diversity of needs and interests. Library staff members serve children, teens, and adults of all ethnicities and backgrounds. Some patrons' first language is not English. Some have never used a computer. Others know more about technology than we do. All patrons have different expectations, and they ask a great variety of questions. Just as our patrons are diverse, so are their questions. Some may be related to services a library provides, such as meeting rooms, reading programs, or book clubs. Others may be best answered using library materials such as journals, websites, books, or media. Others still will require that the patron be referred to outside sources such as specialized libraries, professors, or doctors and pharmacists. There are many types of libraries, public, academic, school, and special. Their missions vary, but in any of these, all library employees will eventually field reference questions. So it's important for anyone considering work in a library to understand how to conduct an effective reference interview. It is important for a librarian to understand how much depth is needed to answer a question. Simple questions, such as a request for a phone number, require a simpler answer than those relating to a research paper. Determining the depth and scope of information needed is the aim of the reference interview. Where are your books by Dan Brown? Do you have a family feature film section? What does the world look like to an insect with compound eyes? However, reference questions are not always as simple as they seem and should not be taken at face value. It's the librarian's job to discover the real question, and that's not always apparent. A patron asking for information on costumes might be writing a report from an historical perspective or perhaps designing costumes for a theatrical production. This distinction makes a big difference in how you'll help the patron find the answers. Here are some steps to take for discovering the patron's real question. The first step is to set the tone. Be approachable, use open body language, and listen attentively to both the expressed words and the underlying message. The second step is to clarify the request. Use open questions or techniques like rephrasing to encourage the patron to provide more information about what they really want. Open questions can't be answered with a simple yes or no. Repeating the question, sometimes called mirror talk, lets the patron know the librarian heard and understood the question clearly. It also gives the patron the opportunity to correct and expand her question. The librarian might need to ask several clarifying questions before she understands what information the patron really needs. The third step is to verify the request. Once the patron has provided more information about the real question, the librarian might rephrase it with the additional details and ask for confirmation to make sure they have it right. Once a librarian confirms that she understands a request, the next step is to get the information using appropriate tools to find what the patron is looking for. In the process, she might teach the patron to use library resources and tools so that later she can find it herself. In the last step, the librarian verifies that the patron has what she's looking for. This only requires asking a question like, do you have everything you need, or may I help you find something else? Let's take a look at a reference interview in an academic library. Will you help me shove the encyclopedias? Don't ask me about that. Mm -hmm. Hello, how can I help you? The first step in the reference interview is to set the tone. Notice the differences in the body language of the two librarians. One of the librarians is preoccupied with what she's doing and as a result gives the impression that she's not approachable. The other librarian's open and receptive body language draws the patron to her and relaxes the patron enough to ask what may be a difficult question. 
three important things to remember when setting the tone for a reference interview are to be attentive, receptive, and approachable. Um, could you show me, please, how to use the computers? Oh, I'd be happy to show you. Do you need to learn how to use the computers, or is there some specific reference material that you need? Once the patron has asked her question, the librarian needs to clarify the request. Using open-ended questions or other techniques like rephrasing the questions gives the patron an opportunity to provide more information so the librarian can assist her better. I look for information about my country, Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. What kind of information do you need? I would like new stories about my hometown. Okay. I can help you with that. Let's just step over to the computer. Okay. Thank you. Is this for a school project? Well, yes. Uh, I need to make a speech, mm -hmm. but also I just want to find news about my home so I can keep informed. What is the speech about? I would like to prepare speech about Kazakhstan culture, clothes, native foods, and music. Okay, let's look in the database. After the patron has provided the additional information for the real question, the librarian needs to verify the request to make sure she has it right. This can be done by rephrasing the question with the additional information added. The last step in the reference interview is to follow up. Once the librarian has assisted the patron and found the needed information, she can then complete the interview with the follow-up question. This will help the librarian verify the patron has what she's looking for and gives the patron the opportunity to ask any other questions she might have. Are you finding everything okay? I'm fine, thank you. Great, let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Okay, okay. thanks. As we said before, the reference interview begins when a patron approaches the librarian and asks a question and continues until the information is found. Sometimes the question is straightforward and other times it isn't. It's the librarian's job to draw out the real question. The five parts of a reference interview are set the tone, be approachable, receptive, and attentive. Clarify the request. Use open-ended questions to draw out information. Verify the request and ask for confirmation to make sure you have it right. Get the information. Finding the answer to the real question or teaching the patron how to use library tools. Follow up. Verify that the right information or service was provided. Here is a reference interview in a public library between a librarian and a young patron. Hi. Hi, can I help you with something? I'm looking for a music video. Often, a reference interview starts with a very broad question for a very specific need. It is a librarian's job to draw out the real question. Watch the following interview and notice how the librarian sets the tone, clarifies, and verifies the request, gets the information, and follows up with the patron. Do you know the title of the music video you're looking for? No, I don't. Can you tell me a little bit about it? It's about the making of West Side Story. Oh, do you know the names of any of the performers in this video? There's Leonard Bernstein, and he's directing the orchestra. Also, okay. there's a guy from Three Tenors. So you're looking for a video about Leonard Bernstein directing the music from West Side Story? Yes. And one of the Three Tenors is in it. Does yeah. that sound right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me look in the catalog and see what I can find. Okay, this could be it. It's called West Side Story, The Making of the Recording. And the summary says it includes interviews, rehearsals, and recording sessions with Leonard Bernstein and Jose Carreras. It's available as a video or a DVD. Does that sound like the right one? Yeah. Okay. Now, which format would you like? Video DVD, or DVD? DVD, please. DVD? Okay. That one is not at this branch, but we can get it for you from one of our other branches. Do you have your library card? And I'll place a hold mm -hmm. on it for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, it yeah. looks like that will take about three to five days for us to get that for you. And is there anything else that you'd like to have? Um, no, that's okay. it. Thank you. When you think that you have understood the patron, it is good to paraphrase the question to ensure that you have identified the right question. Then ask a follow-up question to be certain that the request was fulfilled. By giving the patron the opportunity to ask for further information, the librarian will know that she has fully answered the question. The librarian made the patron feel comfortable, used open questions, provided information in a clear manner, and asked a follow-up question to make sure the patron was satisfied. Always consider the patron's viewpoint. 
use your reference interview skills, and communicate clearly. The result is a satisfied patron. As we can see, an effective reference interview makes all the difference when helping patrons find information they need. Using these techniques will save you and your patrons time. Best of all, the patrons will get what they really need, and in the process, they'll have confidence in your ability to help them find information. All of us Spring Quarter 2006 Library 180 Audio Visual Services class would like to encourage all current and future library professionals to practice these reference interview techniques so that patrons can be confident that the library will answer the real question.